Hey everyone, my name is Lisa and I'm the Makerspace Assistant at Niles Main District Library. I'm going to be highlighting one of our most excellent art and craft resources. It is called Creative Bug. It's chock full of all kinds of wonderful classes with projects that will definitely help you stave off your boredom or get your creative juices flowing. And the best thing of all, it's free to use through our library's website. All you need is a library card, a Niles library card, to sign up for free and use it for free. How cool is that? Let's dive in. On your tablet, computer, or phone, you'll go to the Niles Library website at nileslibrary.org. Go up to the main navigation bar at the top of the page and click on Research. After clicking on research, you'll see a new page that contains our entire catalog of databases and other resources in alphabetical order. You will then click on C on the navigation. And once the page loads, you will then scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page. Creative Bug is the last one on the list. All right, so now we come to the next page that looks like this. With your library card in hand, you will type in your library card number. No spaces or dashes. And once you do that, click Login. Okay, so now we have come to the Creative Bug landing page. If this is the first time you are using Creative Bug, you will need to create an account. No worries, again it's free. You'll put in your first name, your last name, your email, password, and then click Submit. Since I already have an account, I'm going to click on Login Now. Once you have created an account, you can do the same. So now we are successfully logged into Creative Bug. From this page, you will click on See Latest Classes here. As you can see, all the classes that are available on Creative Bug are conveniently sorted by category. Now there are several ways to navigate the site. You can either click on Category here, or you can go to the navigation at the top of the page and hover your mouse over any of the topics, and then click on any of the subcategories located in each of the topics. You'll notice that when you click on the category, you'll also see that each category is separated into subcategories. And these subcategories are also divided into further subcategories. Beginner, multiplier classes, quick classes, and techniques. I'm a fan of the hover method. It just saves more time than if you were to click on the category from the landing page, then click on a filter to filter the subcategory. So many steps, right? Huh. All right, so now if you select classes up here classes up here and then type in say mm, about screen printing when you do that you'll notice that there's a whole bunch of different suggested classes related to screen printing right here but for now, we just want screen printing. Click the little magnifying icon. And now you can see our search results for screen printing. You can also go up here where it says classes and click on images. 
and then type in, oh, let's say screen printing again. Why not? Again, we have that pop-up of multiple related topics on screen printing, but we just want screen printing. We'll click on the icon again. And here you see what looks kind of like Pinterest, a bunch of different images related to screen printing. These aren't classes, they're just something to get you inspired. Anyway, let's navigate back to the landing page and we're going to click on daily practice. From the daily practice page, you'll see a bunch of different things you can do. You'll notice that each of the daily practices indicate how long the class is. Don't be deterred by that, especially if it's a five hour class. You can do the class at your own pace on your own time, there's no pressure. I'm going to pick out a daily practice class. This one looks interesting. Okay, so once we click on the class, you'll see on the page that there is this kind of a setup. It has an introduction video of the class. It tells you who the instructor is, and then it has a class description, which is also here. It has a list of all the chapters, which is kind of cool. It shows each day's, I guess, project or whatever. And it even tells you how long each class is. There's class materials that you'll need for this class. And there's even a fancy PDF listing of the materials as well, if you are so inclined to print that out. There's also a class gallery, which shows not only the instructor's gallery pictures, but also students who took the class. There's also a discussion. You can take notes. And the best part of all, you can add this class if you liked it and watch it again later. Okay, now let's focus on the inspiration topic here and I'll do the hover method. Let's select calendar. Now once we select calendar and it loads, you'll see on the page this month's weekly inspirations. You can try them out if you like. Again, it's up to you. Oh look, it even features next month's weekly inspirations. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? Now, if we hover over again on inspiration and we click on inspiration feeds, here we have Creative Bug's more extensive version of Pinterest featuring images of projects that people have done using Creative Bug. Now, if we hover over Inspiration again and click on Pattern Library, this is great because you'll see that there's a bunch of different projects and you can access a free pattern of all of these projects. It even shows you exactly what you'll need to complete the project. Okay, going back up to Inspiration, I'm going to click on Class Collections. Now, this features a lot more focused than the subcategories under the Classes category. Again, like the topic suggests, these projects are curated and handpicked to give you inspiration. So if you went up to the search bar again, and then you clicked on classes, and then maybe typed in, say, leather, click enter on your keyboard, or hit the magnifying glass to search, you'll get a much broader search on the subject. 
culminating any class that features leather, no matter what category the search word falls under. All right, so that's about as far as Creative Bug goes. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and I especially hope that you'll use it. It's such a great resource for creativity. So let's get those creative juices flowing, everybody.